The router that came with your internet service may not do all the things that you need it to do, and it probably isn't up to the task of handling your wireless lifestyle that you've become accustomed to. Is it too much to ask for for a router that really covers your entire house? One that doesn't bog down every time your family is streaming videos, making Skype calls, or surfing the web? And that's just the very basics of what you need. What about some of the perks, like enhanced prioritization of services that need bandwidth the most, automatically? And maybe some other features too, like cloud features. The DIR826L Cloud Router 2000 from D-Link has all of that and more. Let's take a closer look. On the box, you can see the My D-Link Cloud Services logo, which means you can remotely manage your network from anywhere, but we'll cover that more in a moment. First, let's take a look at what comes in the box. On top, the quick install guide, followed by the DIR826L Wireless N600 Dual Band Gigabit Cloud Router, and on the front, the power and internet LEDs. On the back, a USB share port, WPS button, four gigabit LAN ports, internet port, power button, and the plug. And on top, the router comes pre-configured with security, so there's a sticker with the wireless SSID name and the network key on it. You also have the power adapter and an ethernet cable, plus a Wi-Fi configuration card, also with the SSID name and the network key. Just make sure you keep this handy, as you'll need it anytime you connect a new device to your network. Now, grab the router, ethernet cable, and power, and head over to your broadband modem. Start by plugging in the power and connecting it to the back of the router. Then, remove the twist tie from the ethernet cable and connect one end to the ethernet port on the back of the broadband modem. Connect the other end of the ethernet cable to the yellow internet port on the back of the router. Press a power button on the back and then give the device a moment to start up before heading over to your computer with the Wi-Fi configuration card in hand. Now, although the router is already set up with security, we'll need to configure the MyD-Link service and link the router to your MyD-Link account. Connect to the wireless network name on the card and enter the network key also provided on the card. Start a web browser and the setup wizard will automatically begin. Otherwise, enter 192.168.0.1 in the address bar. Here, you can change your wireless SSID name and network key for each band, the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz, but you might be better off keeping them as is. Also, be sure to give the actual router a password as well. But otherwise, follow the prompts until you reach the MyD-Link registration page. If you don't already have a free MyD-Link account, all you need is an email address, your name, and a password. We already have one associated with our cloud camera from D-Link, so we'll just enter it here. And once a router is connected to your MyD-Link account, you can download the MyD-Link app for iOS or Android and log in, where you can see all of your MyD-Link devices, see any devices connected and their web history, or even block certain devices from accessing the internet. You can also set up notifications to let you know when a new device connects or when a new firmware for your router is available. Phones, tablets, computers, TVs, game consoles, media players are just a few examples of the things in your house that use wireless. So why not maximize the device that's in charge of controlling them? Your router. And what device offers more than D-Link's Cloud Router 2000? It has dual band, 600 megabits a second, cloud enabled, high powered amplifier for coverage throughout your home, and the ability to easily share all of your media and documents across your network to phones and computers. It has it all, and that's a lot more than your ISP router can do. Thanks for watching.